Hello everybody, how are you today? It is Sharon here on Essential Sensors page. Um, it's Sharon Hankins and I'm from the blog I Restore Stuff because that's what I love to do. I love to upcycle furniture and home decor. But uh, right now we're here live in the event for um, on the Essential Stencils page and on the page itself. So anytime you do see Essential Stencil posting about these events that we are hosting, our lives, that we are live every week night, week day, sometimes it's during the day, sometimes it's at night. Um, but if you do see an event, if you hit the word going or if you respond going, all that means is that you will get notified when we go live. So that's how that happens uh, sometimes. And also I think they notify another another way as well. So hi, Elisa, how are you? Kimberly, Diana's here, everyone's here. Well, I'm feeling super disorganized today. I said to my daughter, oh my goodness, I feel like it's the most disorganized I've been for a live. But I got it together, pulled it together right at the last minute here. Um, because I was going to go one way and had to do a quick old switcheroo because the, the um, transfers that I wanted to use are completely out of stock. You guys just loved those patriotic florals. So um, I switched it up to, I'm going to be using the Magnolia florals today because I didn't want to have people clicking on my link and going, they're out of stock. And <laughs> so that is out of stock, those um, patriotic florals. But these ones are still there and I believe there's only a minimal amount left. I think I saw something like 67 of them left. So um, make sure you do catch those. I'm trying to find my live here on on the stencil page. Um, have you got your new stencil sets? I've seen people working on these, um, the brand new stencil summer collection. Um, some things I had to remind you, brushes are back in stock, guys, the stencil brushes, stencil brushes, the set of four stencil brushes all back in stock, you'll be excited to know. Don't forget to use my code, I restore stuff. that's the code you can use today, I restore stuff. you save 10% on anything site-wide. Alexa, you got your beautiful stencils and transfers today. I hope you can spend time, I hope you can spend time crafting while I am live here today, a lot of people do that, just sit there and do their stenciling or painting or whatever. Hi Shirley, you just received the Magnolia transfers. Perfect, I'm gonna be using those today. In fact, I'm gonna be using them on fabric. So I do have here some calico fabric. So I wanted to try transferring on that. And we're gonna be using some old torn up sheet music today. Um, and I may or may not have time to do another a stencil project that I wanted to do as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we get done today. Are you all ready? Tracy, you keep getting notifications coming one day and then it changes to another day. Oh! <laughs> um, new stencils out tonight, everyone. Yeah, Judy is reminding... Hang on, it's Thursday here. I thought it was Friday. Oh, I, I know what you mean. So the Father's Day, there's a bunch of Father's Day stencils dropping. And yes, you're right. Midnight tonight, Thursday, will go live on the app, I believe. Hang on. Thursday, they go live on the app. Friday, they'll be live on the website. So if you use my code, I restore stuff, or use the link that's right here in the description of the live, that will take you to Essential Stencils website. Um, you can use my code I restore stuff in the app. I think you can do that. Anyway, I'm so excited that you're all here today. That is awesome. Let's get started on our project. Like I said earlier, we're going to be using magnolia transfers. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. I'm going to also use these faith mini tags at some time during my live today. Um, thank you, Kimberly. I love it when you guys sprinkle and share the love around Facebook land. So, Let's get started on this one. I had also thought about, and I may use this stencil here if you haven't got that one already. I wanted to show you something else. But sometimes I just organize all these things and then we run out of time and that's okay. I'd rather have uh, an extra little something in case we, in case we need it. So uh, with our transfers today, I wanted to do a fun craft kind of a thing. Let's see if I can get organized. Now I've got some calico and I've put it, I've kind of just ripped it into strips or these could be used like um, banners. Do you call them banners or flags or uh, that kind of thing where you can hang them all like, like so? Let me know uh, in the comments. I mean, we call this calico in Australia. It's that unbleached cotton. 
what do you call that in the USA? Because sometimes we have different lingo, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. I can see some comments. <clears throat> there we go. Seeing some comments. Muslin. Yes, that's it. Muslin is the word. I was thinking of, um, yep, muslin. Okay. For, for me, muslin is a lot. Oh, someone said canvas. Painter's cloth is another thing. Yeah, it's a bit thinner than painter's cloth, but to me, it's thicker than we would call muslin. So muslin over here is really, really thin, whereas this is sort of, you know, you, it's not totally, completely see-through, whereas muslin, I would say that you could see through it. Anyway, it's interesting, isn't it, how from even Western culture to Western culture, we have different words for different things. So I find it fascinating. It's interesting living in another country and you go to use a word and they're like, what? What are y'all talking about? All right, so to, I just left this piece because I've kind of um, cut these or torn them. So if you want to tear fabric, it, you can tear it directly on the, they call it, talk about weft and weave, I think, are the two, um, two directions, weft and weave. I don't know which one goes we, which way. There again, you may have different terminology for that. It's kind of fabric terms, I suppose. I usually just do a little nick so that I don't have perfectly straight edges. I want that uh, frayed look on the end. So I just put a little nick in the fabric here and then just do a complete tear like that. And it literally tears along the grain, the weft and the weave, I think are the, um, is the grain, the different directions that it's woven in. Now you'll get little tails like this. You can just snip them off or just tear them out. Uh, but what we can do then, so we've got this nice piece here and you can literally pull away some of those edges to make your edges even more frayed. Um, I've got a little bit down the end here that's that's uh, collecting some extra, well it didn't get quite cut off enough, but you see what I mean? So you can just kind of keep tearing until you're happy with the amount of fraying on the edges. If you wanted to, you could uh, put a, a running, run a stitch down the edge so that the fraying doesn't go any further. So these, you could sew them together to create a banner or, um, or you could mount them to a board, but we're gonna be trying to experiment with a bit of transfers and, and um, adding transfers to fabric today. Has anyone done that yet already? Hello, hi Kim. Thank you for saying hello, Glenda's here and Sonia. Susan says, I hope everyone had a wonderful day. And here I am starting my day. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here in Australia on a Thursday morning. Beautiful sunny day again here. Okay, so we're getting some more fraying on the edges of the fabric there. And um, it just creates a nice, fun, rustic look. So you can do that with your other ones. I'll just set those aside. The other things that you can make that I could try today, and I probably cut this one a little too narrow, but this is, you could use this as a bookmark. So I've gotten one around about the size, probably a large book, <laughs> but um, you can use them for bookmarks. So we're gonna try and transfer on these couple of things today. So grab your transfers and your scissors. And you can see that I'm wearing um, a sweater today. We call them a jumper, isn't that? See, another language thing. We call it a, a jumper is like a sweater or a pullover, I guess you'd call it as well. Essential Stencil has said there's only 63 of this set. So it comes in two sheets, I forgot to tell you that. So we've got huge, large magnolias here. And then there's a small sheet with some smaller ones on it. So um, there are 63 left. So if you want those, grab the a link is right there in the pinned comment. Also reminder that our brushes are back in stock and a lot of you have been asking for brushes. Some of you like to have an extra set. I know I like to have an extra set around if you're using them for different, um, different colors. You don't want to stencil with a wet brush. I'll give you that tip right now. So stenciling with a wet brush is a bit, um, because it just makes the paint runnier and it'll tend to bleed under and it's just, it's not a good uh, result. So yeah, I'm wearing my sweater because it's getting wintry here, wintry here in Australia. 
We are leaning into winter. Our winter months are June, July, August. So 1st of June today here in Australia, and I know it's still the 30th over there, but it's we've hit the 1st of June. So it's literally the first day of winter here for us. So I'm finding some smaller ones. These are going to be for my bookmark here. Let me just point that down a little bit more so we can see. You can use my code iRestoreStuff or use the link that's been pinned right here and you can save 10% off these stencils. So I'm thinking we can use this, these on the bookmark. We can add one down to the bottom here. We may even want to add one at the top. Then I wanted to add, and I'll see if they don't quite fit. That's why I was saying I should have probably done a little bit wider of a bookmark, but I'm using the Faith Mini Tags. Now these come with a set of three and they've got this cute cross with the word pray. They also have the word, see if I've got that round the right way, faith that's joined to the cross here. And then we have the word, amen, right there, joined onto the cross. So I like, we'll start with the word pray and um, we will try and add that on here. It probably doesn't even matter that the cross extends over the edge, but we'll add the word pray once I've got these transfers down. So hopefully you can see that enough there. And then I wanna choose uh, a larger magnolia design here probably won't fit um, and I didn't bring my didn't bring my ruler or my um, <clears throat> measuring tape out to see how how big this is but I've got a bit of a, a board that you would use for a mounting board I guess you would call it you can use and we're going to put some of our designs on there today I may not put this one on there I might just use this one for hanging but I'm just trying to think, I don't even know how big that board is. I don't know why I thought that I could measure on that. That's a little bit too large for what I want for this one. So again, I'm going to use this, uh, the one, the sheet with all of the smaller ones on it. Oh, there's some gorgeous, this is almost like a wreath right here. That's beautiful. And I do like, I like this one. So we could stick a stencil on that and use another one of our Faith mini tags to put on here. Could use that faith going up that way or faith on here and the magnolias on top. Oh, what should we do? <clears throat> you can actually stencil over the top of the florals. So we could even add this one down the corner here and then add faith over here. It's just giving you a bit of an idea so I'll choose this one. So we just cut out the whole entire thing. It's got a few different parts to these transfers, but you just cut out the whole thing. Like there's a backing sheet and then there's the, the top layer and right in between is the actual transfer that has a sticky backing to it that sticks onto our fabric. So we'll start with the bookmark, shall we? And let's get started with, so you'll want either a store card or there's these tools which are also available on the website. <coughs> Sabrina, you've got the rose rub on transfers. Yes, they are so beautiful. Yeah, and these are one off. So unlike the stencils, which you can use over and over and over again, transfers are a single use. And so, yeah, if you are ordering the Magnolia sheets and you think that you will use them a lot, grab a few because there might be one especially on there that you know you might want to use this one and you think oh I'm going to sell these at, at markets and I'm going to use this one as a wreath and add stencils over here there's only one of these on here there's another one on here but you know if you do need more my top tip is to grab a few while they're there all right so we're removing the white backing from that and then I'm just placing the transfer right down on the base of this bookmark, which I'm calling a bookmark. Now I've tried using, I've actually used a transfer on fabric before on a baseball cap. It's one of those ponytail caps that, you know, it has a little hole in the, the top of the head for your ponytail. And I put the sunflower transfers on that and it turned out really nicely. And obviously you don't need to put your hat in the washing very often. So I haven't actually tried washing it yet, but I did just in case I added some um, like a flat mat sealer just where the transfer is to stop it from 
um, coming off in the wash. But you know what? I'm not going to put a bookmark through the washing anyway, so <laughs> I don't have a worry about um, adding these transfers to fabric and not worrying about it you know, coming off in the wash because I'm not going to actually do that. So I've rubbed that material there. I'm just going to have a little peek and see if it comes off nicely. And yes, I think it is. I'll just put it down so I can remove it there. Oh, it's actually coming off super easy. Put that, oh, I'm putting it up this way. And so all you do is you rub it on and then peel it back. If you do see any that hasn't quite stuck properly yet, just give it an extra rub. Fabric's a bit different to the to putting it on wood or signs because the fabric's coming lifting up as well with me with my hand. Okay, that was super easy. So now we have a really clean if you did see any little marks on there it would mean that the you have to lay it back down and stick it on there. So let me show you this beautiful transfer on the fabric. Isn't that just adorable? So of course if you did get, if you were the lucky ones and did get the patriotic transfers, you'll be able to do this with those as well. Create some fun um, banners or whatever with your patriotic transfers. But don't these make a beautiful little bookmark? And here is this one. Again, we removed the backing. The white backing and then you're left with the image on this clear piece here. I'm going to add that to, I don't know, we'll, we'll call this the top or the bottom but we're sort of having one floral come down from the top. Oh I've gotten a little bit close to the edge there but once it's down it's down so that's okay. Never mind. Yeah so you've got some great Christmas ideas here or gift giving ideas. I know that um, some of you like to work towards Christmas even in July so um, but you know any kind of gift giving is is just a beautiful idea for a teacher gift even to create a fun bookmark for teachers. Okay so I'm just going to move remove this slowly here. See if I can get that off. It is just a little bit stuck there. Now it's coming off. So every now and then you'll just get one little piece that probably wasn't rubbed down quite enough. But look how smoothly that's going on. Whoop. Yeah, great idea, Arlene. She said, I think I'll order these Magnolia stencils along with the masculine stencils, the Father's Day bundle that's dropping on Friday on the website. Use my code iRestoreStuff and you'll get extra 10% off the bundle discount. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, some really great Father's Day Father's themed or manly themed stencils. Great for the man cave, some sign making there. So look at that. Isn't that adorable? It just looks really pretty against that calico or what did you call it? Muslin. Um, yes, lots of possibilities, aren't there? So now I'm going to add my prey stencil on here. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do this other one that I was going to do also. And then we'll do the stenciling last because then I can just use the same brush use it all together. Okay, removing that white paper backing and we've got our beautiful transfer right here. Now I haven't properly ironed this. You might still see a few little wrinkles but if I am going to iron it after, I did do a little bit of an iron but I should, I probably just needed to spray it. Um, so once you have the transfer down, obviously don't iron on top of the transfer but, transfer, but you can iron on the back, okay, as you would with any shirt that might have a, a print on it or a vinyl transfer or something you can just iron on the back of them. Okay so rubbing that on again really well. Okay, 
Okay, so again, just peeking here to see if that's coming off nicely. I might go from this end. This is the Magnolia transfer set. comes in um, two sheets. Any of the transfers that you order, they actually both, they all have at least um, two sheets <coughs> with all sorts of beautiful themed designs on them. Gradually lift it up until you can see that there's no more uh, transfer sticking to the clear. Clear plastic. Okay. Oh, still a little bit sticking down there. And the transfers um, don't come with these anymore, they, but they are available, these tools, if you do want those. They're also on the website. I'm not sure what they're called on the website. Might be called a rub-on tool or something. But if you just use the search bar and search transfers, they'll probably come up there as one of the tools to use for transfers. I like the way it's turning out. So this, again, um, is just a little square of fabric. So many different uses. You could mount that on a, or frame it or mount it on a board or use it as a banner. And so now we'll add our stencils on here. And then I want to show you, we're going to use uh, some old sheet music here that I've torn up and we'll add a transfer to that. So here's our word, faith. Now I do want to tape off. Now these have, they're made for our wooden tags that essential stencil cells are out of stock at the moment, but I want to cover up that hole. So unless you're using it for an actual tag, we don't need to have a big dot showing on our <laughs> fabric. So just going to put a bit of tape over the top of that, make sure that's taped down. And I want to just add the cross and faith right here. And I think this word pray with the cross will fit perfectly just right here. And even though it goes sort of just a slightly outside my width, I would just make sure you measure it uh, to fit your width of your stencil. You know what I'm saying? So I've made this, this fabric a little bit too narrow for my bookmark. But if you did want to use these, I would suggest. And here I go, I haven't got an offloading thing. I wonder if it'll offload okay on this stuff. All right, adding some black paint from, this is Fusion's Coal Black. It's just a acrylic based paint. You can use any acrylic based paint, but if you do want to use the Fusion paints, they're great for furniture painting, which is what they're manufactured for. All right, so I'm just using the back of my transfer paper here that I've gotten rid of to offload. So just remember to offload as much as you can off your brush. I'm stenciling on fabric now and so I want to make sure I keep it really still. I could tape that down but we are just going to go ahead and stencil without taping it down but you can if you want to. So I'm able to do this nice uh, wriggly, swirly motion on here because I have offloaded most of that on the brush. I do notice that the word faith comes right to the edge of the stencil and so does the word pray. So I will just tape that off because I don't want that getting accidentally um, brushed onto the fabric. So let's just put that there. And again with this one, I'm just rubbing the tape up and down onto my hands or on, you can do that onto your apron or whatever you're wearing just to de-stick it a little bit because I don't want it sticking too much to the transfers. So I'm mainly putting it onto the stencil there. Okay, so again, dipping my brush into the paint, wiping most of it off on the side of my jar. And then I'm going to offload Offload and work it into the bristles at the same time. There we go. So I'm just rubbing that around now. 
And these are obviously things that I'm not going to be washing anyway, but if you were concerned about it coming off in the wash, look, I would experiment. I haven't actually experimented with the transfers on fabric as far as washing goes, but if anyone has, let us know. Oh, Sandy's got a tip. You could go over it with machine washable decoupage and maybe you could, oh, great idea. Did not know that there was a machine washable decoupage. There you go. And so, so many helpful tips on here. Thank you, Sandy. Um, yeah, so there you go. You could just go over it with that. I did, like I said earlier, I did go over my, my cap, my baseball cap that I did with the sunflower transfers. I went over that with some, um, like a, it was just a furniture sealer, like a, a matte sealer. And it didn't turn out too bad, but I haven't washed it yet, so I can't verify, but <laughs> be interesting to see if anyone's tried that yet. But obviously a bookmark, you know, you can spot dry these, uh, spot um, clean these things anyway. If you did get a mark on it or if you spilled some coffee on it, you know, there's ways that you can spot clean things these days. Oh no, Mary, you accidentally got black fusion paint on a sweatshirt and it still hasn't come off. Yeah, um, fusion is made to fuse, so it really will stick well. It adheres well to furniture, sticks pretty much well to anything. I do find that uh, their brush cleaner is really, really good. So if you had got it straight away and immediately kind of rubbed a bit of that brush cleaner into it, uh, you may have got some results there, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this brush in. Let's just drop it in a wet cloth here so that it doesn't dry out because I may need to stencil something else soon. Have it decided. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Now this is our, whoops, now I've got the, ah, and that's what I was worried about. I've got my painter's tape stuck onto my transfer and it wants to peel it off. Now, there's a tip for you. Don't put the, don't put painter's tape on your transfer. It's just peeled a little bit off my magnolia leaf there and I can't get it back. It's stuck. So there's a tip, don't do that but you can't really tell. It's just a little tiny chip out of, the, out of the brush there. But there's the beautiful magnolia flower. Now to make that stand out, you could do that on a black fabric or a darker fabric that would stand out probably a lot better there. And here's the bookmark. Let me just see if I've stuck that down. Hope I didn't stick that on my transfer. No, see, I, I caught it before I did this one. <laughs> but isn't that adorable, a little prey bookmark great idea for a gift so there's some ideas that you can do with the transfers I've got one more idea over here and that involves um, sheet music and a board that I can mount it on and then I did have a stencil on the back of there so I could just stick it over the top of that from another live I did a long time ago sweater weather <laughs> That was a long time ago. So I'm going to, let's see, I could put it on that way. All I've done is I've gotten some really old sheet music and you can photocopy that, I guess, these days if it's for your own personal use. But this is original old, old sheet music and it's quite brittle. So all I've done is torn the edges along here. What I think I might do is add my transfer first and then put down some Mod Podge and stick that on. Because I feel like if it's wet, I don't want to risk that being wet and then putting the transfer on it. So I just wanted to add a pretty, pretty um, bunch right here. I don't know, should I do that one? Maybe I'll do that one. It's kind of more rounded, centered into the center of the music, the sheet music. And then you could frame this or just mount that board on a wall with a little a bulldog clip or something like that. It's just a... It, Looks like, I, I really don't know the size of it, maybe six by eight. So I'm going to add this transfer into the middle of my sheet music. And again, you could probably add a stencil in here as well, but I think I just love just the simple floral standing out in the middle of the sheet music. Well, did you see that? It literally just jumped, it jumped to the top of my 
So no, no placing it anywhere else now. That's where it's going to be. Oh, my goodness. I think it was the static in this wintry dry weather. It just kind of went chunk and the sheet music jumped up to the plastic. So that's where it's going to be. Lucky it was kind of in the center anyway, but here we go. We'll just uh, rub that down. And the transfers do have a certain translucency about them. So you can kind of, they blend into whatever background you've, you're placing them on. And so you can actually see the sheet music through the transfer, which is nice. It's pretty. I like it. All right. So, oh, wow, this is coming off super easy. Easier than the fabric was. So there it goes. Lifting that up now. And then, like I said before, you could frame this or um, just tack it to the wall, sit it on a tiered tray. It's just a really strong, uh, thick card mounting board. It really almost feels like um, wood, but it's not. It's just a really strong board. Okay, I love that. Don't you love that? So imagine I have mounted it right there to the, um, to the board, but that's a cute idea. Magnolia flower in the middle of that and like I said before you could add your stencils on top of it but I think that it would just be a bit busy it's a bit busy already it would probably distract or detract from it all um, but those are fun three little things there I do have one more that I just wanted to show you really quickly because I thought why not let's try something else as well today um, and that is using some let me pop this over here that's the magnolia transfers it's using that grillin, sippin, no, sippin, grillin, chillin stencil. Now I wanted to show you something fun. I want you to think outside the box sometimes when you go shopping and I've seen people say, oh, we never find things like that when, you know, around our area or whatever. <laughs> I like to challenge you to just look out there and look and see what there is. Look what I found. This is just in our local Kmart, but you know, you probably see these in Dollar, dollar Trees or whatever. But this was, um, it's a canvas, a round canvas, and I thought that'd be great for some of our round sign stencils, but it actually is a little smaller that probably needs to be a little larger for our, our stencils. The width is uh, 12 inches, so it's a 12 inch width. But it has these like coloring, it's a coloring canvas. You know, you get your coloring in and just color it in yourselves with paints and whatever. I thought, but it was only $5, you guys. $5 from a local Kmart, which is pretty cheap for our area. I know you probably have sort of similar things in the, um, in the Dollar Tree or Dollar Stores, things like that. Craft section of Hobby Lobby, all of those kind of places that you guys have that we don't have here in Australia. But I painted it black and then I've got this cute round canvas. So I just did two coats of that coal black that I just used earlier for the stenciling. And so see how you can just find something. Now you might also, another place you'd find these that I've found round canvases or just any signs is at your local thrift stores. Uh, you can just find you might not be a canvas, it might just be a round piece of wood that's got some other design on it. I'll show you another one that I found just this week at a thrift store, which I had just set aside in case I wanted to do it today, that I've already sanded off. It had some kind of sign. You can just see the wording behind it. It was a dollar and it's just pieced together. A piece of wood has its hanger already on it. Um, but I sanded that back and now that's ready to create a blank canvas to put on something fun, you know, transfer. I could actually, oh, wouldn't that that's about the same size as this. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Forget my board, I've got my sign. So if I just decoupage that onto there, I did not even look at that earlier. <gasps> look how perfectly that fits. Yes, it was meant to be. Okay, changed my plan. That's the plan right there. It was the plan all along. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. There's a canvas that I found. It says color this in. I'm like, I am not going to be sitting there coloring this in when I could stencil something so much quicker. Am I right? So then I've got this in the description of the comments as one of my supplies listed is this one. It's called Sippin', Grillin' and Chillin'. And obviously I'm not going to put all these words on there. So I'm just going to use it for one thing. <clears throat> Mm. 
Yeah, I know, Rhonda. I heard that, that most of your Kmarts are closed over there. So ours are still hanging on. But we probably don't, we don't have Walmart over here, so we've, you know, got a, uh, probably less department type stores. All right, so we've got sipping. So then you could choose. You could do a, this for Father's Day. You could do a grilling. And then, you know, I don't know, do we have any barbecue stencils? Maybe that's, I haven't looked carefully at the, at the, um, the ones coming up for Father's Day, but that looks like a fun idea. So then there's chillin'. I think chillin' would be a good, you know, I could see that in a teenage room. Chillin'. So I'm going to do that, and I will just tape off this G right here because that's a little close. And then I've got myself a sign. Now, it doesn't have a hook or a hanger at the back, but it's the kind that, you know, it's this MDF material. And I've literally just painted two coats of black on there add some white and there you've got a super easy sign and that my friends sorry to say but it was so much it's going to be so much quicker than coloring in coloring in the original intent of that um, <coughs> coloring canvas so I'm just using a white color this is an off-white called cashmere from fusion mineral paint and we're just going to going to dip that into the lid there Super quick and easy. Offload it. It's kind of got sort of tannish tones, this white. I'm going to add a little bit more because I want to work it into the bristles really well. So making sure that's fairly centered. You could imagine all the different colors you could use this. It didn't have to be black and white. You could um, use, you know, if it's for a, a room in your home. Oh, just remembering it is a canvas, so it's going to kind of warp in the middle as I push it, so I probably should have something underneath it to stop it from doing that. I wonder if my little board here might be able to help me do that. I'm not sure if it'll fit. Oh, yep, yeah, it fits just perfectly. So let's see if that's helpful. Offloading. And I'm holding it down with one hand, making sure I've got that pretty sturdy. We'll get our brush going here. Now this, these are large letters. When you're using the large letters, you can use a larger bristle brush. So this one, I'm using the three quarter inch brush. Just a reminder, the brushes are back in stock. If you didn't hear me say that earlier, if you've just jumped onto the live, a lot of people have been waiting for those to come back in stock. So don't forget, if you're ordering today, use my code, I restore stuff, and you can get 10% off anything in Essential Stencils shop. Um, if you do want to wait till tomorrow, use my code, I restore stuff, and, or is it Friday? Friday, Father's Day, uh, bundle is dropping. And so that is going to be super fun. Lots of fun stencils in that. I can we can give you a link. I did post a link to um, to have a sneak peek at those designs earlier this week. <coughs> and if you think that your color is uh, a little bit light on and you'd like to give it a little bit more coverage, because sometimes when you just doing one coat, it um, and especially on this canvas, it seems to be. Oops, I'm saying oops, that's not a good sign. It's because I've got too much on my brush. If you do have too much paint on your brush, it's likely to bleed under the stencil and cause fuzzy edges, which I don't like. And I've practiced enough to get it right most times, but every now and then not really thinking about it and I have a bit too much on my brush. Oh Kim, you got your circle canvases at Michael's when they were 70% off. That's a good deal. Yeah, I, I was looking actually in the stores for circle canvases or circle wood and the wood over here like it is over there is crazy expensive at the moment. And then I saw these in Kmart and I thought that's perfect for some of the round stencils, but uh, they don't quite fit our rounds, our round 
essential stencils. These are 12 inch diameter, but I think most of our circle stencils are more for, oh, I didn't bring them out, but you can probably correct me, they're more for like 16 inch maybe, 16 inch rounds or 18 inch rounds. Someone can help me out there. I don't have one in front of me. <clears throat> It'll have the dimensions on the round um, stencils designs though. It'll say that it's good for a, you know, 12 or 18 inch round. Let me see. Okay, so I do like the way that's turning out and I don't mind that cloudiness, but if I do want to go back over, I can just, oh, I'm moving my board that I've got underneath to give it some sturdiness. <clears throat> okay. Just going to give it some extra, a little bit extra. I was saying this earlier, but um, it is handy to have a couple of sets of brushes if you don't have a couple of sets. Because once you have used one colour and you go to wash that colour out, you don't want to use your stencil brushes while they're wet, only because that will cause your paint to be a little bit more runny and you actually get a lot more of that bleed underneath the stencil. And it kind of creates those fuzzy edges that don't really look nice and crisp. And that's what we don't want. So practice on a piece of cardboard, but there's your top tip is don't use wet brushes. So it is sometimes good to have an extra set. So if you are um, going to be doing that and you want to use my code, I restore stuff will get you 10% off. All right, let's have a look at that. Let's see how that turned out. That's the color Cashmere by Fusion Mineral Paint. I do have an affiliate link if you do want that code. Um, let me send that to you. Just pop it in the comments and I'll I'll grab that for you. Okay. Oh, my black paint might have still been a little wet. So that is just a super simple, easy, easy sign to create for um, a kid's room or teenager's room or something like that. Chilling. How's that? <clears throat> you could add more to it. You could add, you know, um, decorations around the edges. You could add transfers. You could add all sorts of things. But isn't that just a good, a good basic, I think, uh, for a stencil let me just pop that down there and here's my board that I came up with just in the nick of time I'm going to decoupage that to the board in fact let me just do that now what I'm going to use is fusions ultra grip because I think that's just super easy to apply you can also use their transfer gel if you wanted to or mod podge you know so just going to add a bit to the the Mm, should I add it to the back of this or add it to the board itself? I think I'll add it to the board. Just adding it to a whole section here. I will add it to the entire board because then we've got it everywhere, haven't we? And that was super quick and easy. Another easy project. So we've got some good craft ideas here today. I'm just um, adding it to the entire board for consistency so that it doesn't have little uh, ridges on the outside. Oh, I've got to move quickly because I can see that it's drying already. Placing that in the center. And away we go. How super easy is that? Then you could, you know, um, antique the edges, but this paper is literally an antique. Um, music sheet sheet music i got from the collection now you could then seal this using the flat matte sealer the ultra grip will seal it as well but let's just do that all over or whatever sealer you've got of your choice. <clears throat> Again, you can use Mod Podge for this as well. So 
I like to work fairly quickly because this does dry fairly fast. And then you've got your project all sealed in. And that was an easy fix for that sign that I picked up at a thrift store for a dollar. It had some other words on it and I just changed it up. There we go. How was that for a fun morning of craft? So we've got our sign here with the transfer on it. You can see that there. We've got our bookmark that we added transfers. And this one says pray using the little faith mini sets. We've got two little transfers, one at each end. It's a bit hard to hold these up. We are going to pick some winners. So let's have a look who our winners are today. And there's only 63 left of those Magnolia transfer sheets. So don't forget to jump on and grab those while there's stocks there. The brushes are back in stock. Father's Day stencil bundles dropping uh, Thursday on the app and Friday on the, on the website. So you can use my code iRestoreStuff to order from there. But here's what we've got today. And our winners today are Wendy, Kim and Barbara. So Wendy, Kim and Barbara, you've been tagged in that pinned post there. And you can let Essential Stencil know via the email that they've given you there in the post and let them know that you were a winner on Sharon's Live today and you can win something from Essential Stencil. So exciting. And guys, I'm so glad that I could show you those today. So this you can use as a banner or mount it on a board or hang it on a little hanger somewhere. We use a bookmark. Great gift ideas. I hope you learned something today. Hope you were inspired to go and create, have fun. And um, I will see you again next week for another live DIY project. June. Guys, the year is nearly over. No, it's not. It's halfway over. We're halfway there. See you next week. Bye.